Grimaldi on the breakaway. Rocco Grimaldi. Score! Nashville is a perfect mixture of a big city and a small city. I'm from California, so I'm used to the big city. My wife's from Grand Forks, so a smaller city, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool having both of those. And like when you're downtown, like it's busy, there's cars, there's people, and then you, you move 20 minutes outside any direction. It's almost like you're kind of in the country again and then it's peaceful and quiet and uh, we both love that. Her being a musician is, is pretty cool. It's a pretty good spot for her to be in and me being here. So it uh, definitely works out for both of us. I think when I came in, they, they were just honest with me. They, they told me what they expected from me. Uh, I remember coming to my first year, they said I was gonna be anywhere between the 12 and 14 forward, potentially call up, and uh, I was. I went down to the minors for, I think, maybe eight to 10 games, uh, and got an opportunity to come up, and you know they, they told me just to play my game and not worry. You know Sometimes as a call up, you can be pretty nervous and not wanna make mistakes and do things, and uh, I actually remember the first time I got called up in New Jersey, Labby told me to just play. Don't worry about making mistakes, don't worry about any of that stuff, just play. And, um, I did and, and we had some you know good success with me and the couple guys I played with that night and, and then just try to you know keep it going from there and you know found a way to stay here and I'm here year four. Came in as a freshman in 2011, had a really tough year, had knee surgery, was out of the lineup. I think I played four games and that was it. And uh, got a lot of you know outpouring of support and love that year, just wishing me well and Came back for two more years, I wish it was longer. Um, and you know, they've supported me ever since. I've been in a few teams now in the NHL, up and down with minors in NHL. And uh, they've traveled for the NHL games. I've had people travel for the AHL games. And uh, it's just special. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a great, like, unique community. I feel like everyone kind of knows everyone to, to some extent. We go back to Grand Forks uh, like every summer. So we've been back, I think, five years in a row now. When I spend my summers there, people are like, you're crazy. Why would you go to North Dakota? Like, you're from California. Why don't you stay in Nashville, whatever? And I'm like, you don't get it. Like, the town is awesome. The people are great. It's a, it's a small city, but it's got enough things that I want to do. I want to relax. And, and, you know, the city's peaceful in the summer and obviously the, the best rink in the world to train in. So uh, really, really you know, glad to have those types of people in my life. It's funny because I've tried to tell our guys, I've tried to tell the people in the, at the Preds that this is going to be crazy. Like you don't understand what's coming from North Dakota and everyone's like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's, that's college, whatever. I'm like, just wait till you see Friday, Saturday night, Broadway, it's going to be 20,000 green jerseys walking around. It's an opportunity I never had, you know, playing here. I never had, got to do one of these games and go to a different city and, you know, see all the green just come into whatever city, no matter where it's at. So, uh, no, I'm excited. It'll be really fun.